Hey family, welcome back. It is your favorite life and relationship strategist, Marshawn Olanio. And a few days ago, I talked about how being in a controlling relationship affects you, the person who's actually being controlled. Today, I want to talk about what a controlling relationship looks like. But let me give you some background on people who like to be in control of every aspect of their life and then even in a relationship they want to be in control of every aspect of your life this happens not that it's good but there is a reason usually why a person decides that they need to be in this much control some people even lead toward being a micromanager every moment that you are out of their sight they're texting they are calling they are trying to find out where you are now one of the main reasons why people who feel the need to be in control do this, and if you are this person listening, you're doing this because you at one point felt like somebody failed you. And now you're having this fear that if you don't take control yourself, get it right done, get it done right the first time, or to really micromanage and control your spouse or your partner, then something is going to go wrong. There is that fear aspect behind it. And maybe there was some abuse that happened to you, or maybe there was just something obviously that you did not like. And so now that you're older, now that you're able to control your own environment, now you're taking it to another level where you're starting to control your spouse. You're starting to control your partner. And where it's to the point where your partner really is feeling like, this is not what I signed up for. Or you might feel like you're constantly being frustrated with him or with her because they're not doing what you want them to do. They're not basically falling in line the way that you need them to fall in line. But here's the, here's the real fact. Here's the real reality. You cannot control anybody. And even when you think that you got a person under control, they are going to do something to just let you know that you can't control me or that you do not have the control that you think that you do over me and so that leads to frustration and anxiety and stress and none of those three are good for a healthy relationship for a healthy partnership for a team none of those are good for a team so if you are the person that's being controlled i just wanted to give you a little bit of background of why your partner your spouse could be controlling you again they need to get help to find out how they can stop doing this because it is not healthy relationship um, behavior at all so it is unacceptable but there is a reason this is why i tell you to talk to your spouse to talk to your partner all the time because we all do things for a reason and they usually stem from our childhood or a past horrible relationship or a not so healthy relationship but again when you're speaking when you're talking to your spouse or your partner you get to understand why they do certain things i didn't say that the certain things that they're doing are right but you get to understand your partner and why he or she has certain behaviors. That doesn't negate the fact that they need to get help, okay? So now, you could be in a controlling relationship and I'm doing this video because sometimes we think, well, this, no, don't, don't feel like it's control. He just loves me or she just loves me and this is why they're doing this. So I'm going to give you some of the things that you need to look for to determine if you are in a controlling relationship or not. So one of the first things to look out for is that they start your partner who is doing the controlling behavior is starting to isolate you from everybody that you love, your friends, your family, even they might even go to the extreme where they don't even want you to work. Literally, they want you in a contained environment, which is usually your home because they know where you are. You, it, it decreases the chances of you cheating on them. It decreases the chances of their anxiety going to um, sky high. And if you notice, this is one of the reasons why they give you such a hard time when you want to leave the house and go and hang with other people other than him, other than her. So the first thing that you want to look out for is, did they or have he, has she started to ask you or just to say little things where they're starting to isolate you from your friends, from your family? So look out for isolating behavior. Okay, the second thing that you want to look out for is that they um they love you 
on a conditional basis. They accept you on a conditional basis. Like, I would do that, but you have to do X. Or, um, you know what? You actually look nice, but, or actually, let me, let me be rude, just because this is what they do. You would actually be sexier if you would lose 20 pounds. Or why are you... Anyway, the point is they, they that they do very degrading things to you. And so they only accept you con on condition. On, only on condition. They only care for you only on a condition. And it's usually something that is going to benefit him or her later on, which is why you're getting the care right now. The third thing to look out for is that they use guilt on you with everyday things like... There was a car accident and you came home 10 minutes or 15 minutes later than you told them that you would be. And now there is a huge argument over something that you yourself can control because now traffic is a traffic jam. Traffic is now backed up because you were a part of um, or you were just happened to be around the time that the accident occurred. Or maybe your business meeting ran over too long You and you weren't by the phone to catch that actual call. And he told you or she told you I was going to call you at a certain time and you were unavailable. And that's what all of this boils down to you being unavailable, you being not there when he or she needs you to be all right so using guilt on you everyday things to make you feel bad like you are the worst partner ever they can't trust you they just start going down the rabbit hole of ludicrousness really okay fourth thing to watch out for is that they're overly jealous or constantly accusing you of one thing or another constant accusing you of flirting or of cheating or of whatever insert whatever your thing is that you're constantly being accused of or just overly jealous like literally overly jealous where they do not want you to talk to the opposite sex because you have to be cheating or you two have to have slept together it's just over the top behavior that's a controlling relationship. That is not healthy. That's not sexy. That's not them just looking out for you. That's not them being... Su Listen, it's too much. It's too much is what that is. And then you start to question yourself. Well, I better not be over here talking to John because Mike going to sit down somewhere. Sit down somewhere. Yes, you, the controlling one, sit down somewhere. <laughs> the fifth thing to look out for is they make you earn good treatment. Yeah, they make you earn good treatment. I don't think I need to explain that one. But you have to earn it. It's just not given to you. You have to earn good treatment. The sixth one to watch out for. You get tired of arguing, so you just relent. Because they are not giving up. He or she is not giving up. They will argue until the sun comes up. And neither one of you will go to sleep. So you, you sick and tired of arguing, so now you're just going to relent. You know what? You are, you right. You right. You right. That's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. Very controlled relationship, very controlled environment. The last thing is that he or she is always unwilling to hear your point of view because he or she is superior to you. And that's the air that they put in off. Maybe they've never said it to you. But they definitely think that they are above you and superior to you. So you don't have a point of view. You don't have a voice in your own relationship. You are actually the child in the relationship. These are just seven things to watch out for. If you are thinking, am I in a controlling relationship or not? How many of these things have applied to you? If you need help, then seek help. This is not healthy. It's not healthy. And if you've been there for years and this has been occurring, again, not healthy. This is not love. It's not. And the sad thing about it is if you are the person who is the controller and you're watching this, a lot of times you have no idea the underlying reason why you're doing it. You just know that you're scared. But you can't say that you're scared. You have to look like and appear as if you are all in control. Hence the controlling behavior. 
All right, y'all. Let me know. Have you been affected by a controlled partner before? How did that work out for you? If you exit it, how did you exit? Because you can always help someone out. You just never know who's listening, who needs to hear what you've been through and that they too can get out as well. So who has been affected by a controlling relationship and how did you get out? I love you guys and there is nothing that you can do about it, but we're going to tighten up these relationships in 2020. All right, deuces y'all.